let, let me give let me give Minister Atanganji a voice uh, on this. Yeah, uh, thank you. Your position is clear. It's yes. known yes. Uh, that there is no anglophone problem. Yes. You've constantly repeated that. Yes, and I, I will say it. I said it yesterday. I'm saying it today. I will say it tomorrow. There is no anglophone problem in Cameroon, and I've given facts to justify what I say. Prof has said something which is important. He says that an anglophone has never been a minister of defense in Cameroon. Then uh, Reverend Father said that uh, the pastor, the pastor, pastor, Reverend Father, uh, pastor said yeah. that we have to that the anglophones will not not talk in the bush. They are inside the parlor. As far back as 1983, President Paul Bia said that you don't need to stay in the bush to air your views. President Paul Bia said, in fact, in French he said, mais vous n'avez plus besoin de parler au chemin de marquer pour exprimer vos opinions. That was 1983. So Cameroon has been a free society. You understand? In the New Deal, Cameroonians are free to air their views. And I want to say something which is clear. I was following Radio France International other day. And lawyer Bobga, I want to quote him. Come on Bob I don't know the second name. I know he's Bob Yeah, he's the second name. Yes, yes. And I don't, I'm not more interested in it to know the second name. Because he said that so long as we don't go back to the federal system of government, we cannot solve the problems of the lawyers. That is what he said in Radio France International. And I want to talk about the common law. He started somewhere. He should go back and verify. And in this country, do they use this, the common law system again? I want to ask him the question. We are talking about the common law. It started somewhere. What is the history of the common law today? And I want to tell him that, okay, he says that so long as we don't have a federal system of government, he thinks that we cannot solve the problem. There is no federal system of government. It's a past issue. We don't talk about things which we have. Those facts have been treated. It's over. We talked about the reunification. We came back to 1972. Reunification. And now we are talking about the United States. So, there are certain things we can dialogue. I, I want to make my my position very very clear yeah. and I, I don't talk on behalf of the government but it is official that we have a red line we can discuss the prime minister was in Bermuda for two or three days discussing with people am i right yeah the government of course yes, the the government, government, yes. yes so what i want to tell people is that no the government is open to dialogue you understand mm -hmm. and talking about positioning the the, the, the the minister of defense in any country prof is the head of state I am here as the, the, the permanent secretary to the National Security Council in a, a country, I'm an Anglophone. General Ivo, he has been the director of presidential security for about 17 years. Or oh, every in the world, if you don't have confidence in somebody, you cannot give him that responsibility. So if it is, when we talk about marginalization in terms of responsibility and post and I don't agree because we have had all what we okay. need okay. To, to develop it's important because yes. he said something that I've been hearing the story that an anglophone has never been appointed minister of finance an anglophone has never been appointed a minister of defense or the delegation of uh, let us be serious um, let me yeah, just say yes. so let, just let say, me just point them there and yes. then come back and say the story yes, yes. 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 let me have a pause but let, but let, 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 let us land I want to end by saying that the prime minister head of government in this country since 1992 we have had them from Prime Minister Chidiachu to Prime Minister Mafani Musonge to Prime Minister Enoni FM and for 24 years that is beautiful. The, head, the, head, the Prime Minister is Prime Minister Head of Government. But, but so, have, have, you, have, you, have you gone through <laughs> social media, uh, Mr. Tenganji? Yeah, this, 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 this is what they say. Now, yeah. I, 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 this is what they say. Yes. That if you reduce what you call the problem of English speaking Cameroon, let me put it out, since the anglophone, apparently an anglophone is a problem, uh, it's a very delicate word. If you reduce the problems that the other people, the other Cameroonians, the other side of the Mungu feel today to just positions and food yes. and all those things are yeah, elementary, then yeah, there's a problem. Yes. That, that's right. what they're saying. Yes. Yes. I straight back to you, beyond that, yes. do you think there's any other issue that, that, that is wrong or that is going wrong within uh, the, the, the anglophone community which you are a party? I don't know. As a specific problem, the answer is no. Because go to Garua, go to Maura, go to Gaunde. Yeah, that's precisely where. Go to other regions. You see, when you have a hospital, which is uh, you don't have a hospital here, you don't have a cell health center, you have you have bad roads here, you don't have them. You have, you have those problems everywhere in this country, and that's why the government has a program of development. And each year, the ministers who are directly concerned, they bring out those plans. We see what can be done. It's a government policy. So the, what I'm saying, okay, 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 ok
is sitting yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, one minute. Uh, let, let us go yes. back. Let us go it to the crux of the matter. All right. We'll, we'll come back to you. I, let, I, let us I, go I, to our video tips. Uh, we, we sample the issues at stake now. Since yeah. we're entering into it, mm. let us sample the issues at stake now. We'll come back. We'll continue. The, we'll give you the microphone just after that. Early this month, a group of individuals, self-styled Anglophone lawyers, take to the streets, based mostly in the predominantly English-speaking Northwest and Southwest regions, they are demand the protection of a colonial heritage, the common law. We are gentlemen, we are peaceful, and we have never meant any violence. Our idea is to make our point heard. It is now more than a month that we have been on strike after having notified the government about our dissatisfaction with the erosion of the common law. Days after, they take a series of actions, including what Justice Minister Laurent Esso calls an illegal formation of an Anglophone Lawyers Association. The Lawyers' Cultural Protection Strike is followed by that of teachers with a similar objective, this time in the education sector. One has the impression, uh, Minister Tanganji, that the issues at stake now are far beyond just a lawyer strike and a teacher strike. Do you share that view? Yes, I, th I thank you for it. Yes, I think that he said that initially it started as a lawyer, and, but now we are foreigners. They have entered inside because the lawyers had finances from, I don't want to call the country, mm -hmm. and these funds were distributed. And we have the traces and all this, even some of those teachers. And we asked them that now you, you started with the problem and now you, you have 10, 20, 50, 30, 70 million francs to go on the streets. What is it all? I, I think that uh, we have said something which is very, very important. The Minister of State in charge of justice said something. You know, we, they have the Bar Council. But now you have what they call Meme, Meme Lawyers Association and the Northwest. Fac Fac Lawyers Association. Yes, but the the mini, those are illegal movements. I want to tell you something. Within the CPDM, when we go in for our meetings, we go to the divisional officer and take an authorization. Mm -hmm. That is, we have never, never started any CPDM rally without reading the authorization from the divisional officer. But how can, the, the, how can the lawyers go down the street without going to meet? That's undermining the authority of the divisional officer. It is not correct. And because if you are a responsible person, you follow the law, we have to abide by the rules and regulations of our country. But if you default, then you, are, you, you become a vandal. And if you are a vandal, you are treated as such. It has to be clear. You could know what is above the law. The lawyers, we, we can agree that they have certain problems, but they have to go and meet the minister instead in charge of justice. The teachers must go and meet their responsible ministers. Then out of that legal forum, they will bring a solution. Not down the street, because if you go down the street without an authorization, you will meet the forces of law and order, and they will treat you as such. That is what we want to, he is talking about conflict management. We want to avoid street action because that is not where you have your solutions so they have to understand that this is a responsible nation and people must be law abiding it is very very important no one is above the law i said it yesterday i'm saying it today i will say it tomorrow you said it two days ago too no one is above the law clear message must yeah. be understood but at the same time the government is flexible to listen to those people to, to lawyers and the teachers